Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. One Leaf Tarot here. I hope you're all doing well. Today we are going to see what urgent messages Spirit has for you. And I'm going to be reading from carbonated water. Um, and whatever I'm able to channel, I will let you know. So before you, there are four different envelopes here. Um, so that this is envelope number one, envelope number two, envelope number three, envelope number four. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to show you each envelope. So this is envelope number one. Okay. Envelope number two. Envelope number three. And envelope number four. Okay. So in each of the envelope, there is a message uh, in here. So once you choose your envelope, I'm going to pull out the message as the main theme of the reading. And then we're going to go from there and I'm going to see what other messages I'm able to channel using carbonated water. Okay, so we are looking at urgent messages that Spirit has for us. Okay, so use your intuition. Once you are ready, the options are in the description box below or the timestamps are in the description box below. Once you are ready, I will see you at your reading. Hello, envelope number one, who chose this envelope? Welcome to your reading. So what I'll do is I'm going to open the envelope and see what message that spirit has for you this is the message that i channel or i got while meditating specifically for this reading okay so we've got not now okay so when i meditate and got this message what i was getting from this message was whatever you're thinking of whatever you're planning on doing whether it's you know going to pursue a new career or pursue a new partner um, in terms of a love relationship or a partner for a business relationship or a friendship any type of plans or relationship or anything that you have in mind at this point in time and you are thinking of pursuing towards the message or the earth's urgent message that spirit has for you right now is not at this time or not now so it was a very strong message when i meditated when i got this um this message so spirit wants me to tell you that whatever you're thinking of doing whatever you're thinking of pursuing towards um the timing is not now and the other thing that i got from this was um the o and the w so your initial or your partner or whoever that is significant to you or in your life that has the initial o or the initial w in their name or it could be your initial as well or it could be someone that is significant in your life or the letter o or w may mean something significant for you maybe not now if if these are not your initials or your significant others initials or someone in your life initials 
this these letters could mean something um, to you in the near future. So pay attention to the letter O and the letter W. Okay, so that was the message that I got from channeling or while I was meditating for your envelope here. So what I'll do is I'm going to use carbonated water, like I mentioned in the introduction, to see what other messages that I'm able to channel for you. Okay. Just opening up. Okay, so please clear your mind. Okay, and please know that this is a general reading. So not all messages will resonate. So use your intuition and pick up the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest behind. Okay, imagine yourself in a beautiful place that is filled with love and light and listen. Okay, so I'm seeing that you have many, many plans in place. Um, you have plans that you tried in the past but failed and you're thinking of going back and explore that plans or whatever plan that you had in mind in the past that did not work out or it could be the plan that you had in mind in the past but you've never tried or you've never encountered or you've never carried it out you are thinking of carrying that plan out and again the message is not now and i'm seeing here that Some of you here, not all of you, are actually very spiritual. I say 25% of you here are very intuitive and are very spiritual as well. Some of you could be tarot reader, I'm getting. Some of you could be um, healers, I'm getting. Um, and a very small amount of you are business owners um, and you are thinking of there's lots of financial matters here that you are currently encountering it could be a financial um, okay okay so okay so a small amount of you are planning for the future. I'd say 15% of you are planning for the future and you are ready to embark towards that, whatever plans that you have. Again, the answer is not now. Spirit says not now. Don't do anything as yet. But things will work out. But this is the urgent message for you is not now. I see that a lot of you are very impatient here and you really want to move forward. Okay. And I see that a lot of you here, about 25 to 50% of you here are in, in the social media. You could be on YouTube. You could be a YouTuber. You could be on many different social platforms here you are very I'm, I'm i'm hearing very a lot of tech techie people on this uh, listening to this reading here you could be students as well you could be in school and you're planning okay so Yes, you're planning. You're planning towards um, next steps. Maybe going to 
I'm hearing that going to a different college or going to a different university, you're thinking of changing your 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 current major or your current studies. But spirit is saying that you should wait and really think about it before you actually make that move. Talk to your parents, talk to your friends, make sure you do your research before you do that, okay? Okay, so there's 10% of you are thinking of going back to your ex. And spirit is not saying yes or no, but spirit is saying not at this time. Again, you have to do your research here. I'm hearing you have to do your research and make sure that you are going towards the right. Make sure that your person or whoever that you are going back to Make sure that all is well before you explore that option. But again, the answer is not at this time. But if you do plan on doing that, make sure you know that all is well before you go back to the past situation. Or it could be your ex or a past relationship. It could be your friendship. It could be a business partner, it could even be a family. Maybe you weren't getting along with someone in your family and you're planning on reconciling their relationship. Spirit is saying, again, Spirit's not saying, should you not do that or should you do that? Spirit is saying, okay, so Spirit is saying yes, but not now. You have to make sure that the timing is right. So use your intuition. The answer is, is within you. Again, a lot of you here are very intuitive. So listen to quiet your mind and listen to your, your heart. And the answer is within you, I'm hearing. Okay. Okay. So some of you here are very... I'm hearing very scattered in terms of your your thoughts, your energy even. You're somewhat lost. You don't know you you want you have so many different plans but you don't know where to go or where to start or there's some of you that have no plans and you have no directions and you're seeking for you're seeking help here so spirit is saying that you should quiet your mind and do more research again do more research and you should be able to find your answer either within or by doing more research for those that are not spiritual you should do more research for those that are very spiritual or intuitive. Listen to your heart, I'm hearing. Okay, so some of you are a little bit stagnant. I'm, I'm getting that you're feeling somewhat stuck and you're not sure and you're not understanding why things are not happening for you. And you're at a standstill, I'm hearing. Um, Spirit is saying, revisit your situation, reevaluate your situation, and make sure if you, okay, I'm hearing that some of you here are encountering obstacles or blockages. So make sure you clear your energy, I'm hearing. Do some saging. I'm hearing clean your house, I'm hearing. Um, there's lots of things that you need to donate, I'm hearing. You need to look at your space, make sure that... Okay, so I'm hearing that you need to clean your space energetically and physically, meaning you have to sage your space. You have to look around your house, see if there is anything that you no longer use or you no longer need. Try to donate that or 
give, give, give it away to your family member or to friends or to whomever, but you need to clean your space in order for you to have a more refresh and clear energy. And when you clear away the old, that's when you're able to invite the new. It's That's what I'm hearing energetically and physically. So I'm hearing that some of you are manifesting as well. So if you want the new to come in, you need to clear the old away in order to make space for the new to come in. Okay, so I'm hearing that some of you are coming out of a hermit. Um, I'm hearing that you have been closing off. You have been to yourself a lot. You basically close your close yourself physically and energetically. So you stop talking to your friends. You stop talking to so you, this is for just some, not all of you. You stop talking to your friends. You stop talking to your family. And you're very closed off for a period of time now. And you're starting to, you're wanting to come out now. You're wanting to reach out, reach back out to your family, your friend. I'm hearing. Spirit is saying it, it, it is a good thing that you are slowly coming out. You are... I'm hearing that you you are releasing your fear. That's why you're slowly wanting to come back out. So spirit is saying it's a good thing that you're releasing your fear. You're 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 now willing to open up, but again, it's the answer is not now. I'm hearing maybe within 2 weeks to 2 months. So depending on your situation, you have to look at your situation. Okay? So I'm hearing two, two weeks to two months. Okay, so some of you are, some of you have really good, not good, but very big plans here for the future. I'm even hearing that you are thinking of buying a home, moving to a different state or moving to a different country, I'm even hearing. Um, and you are currently, some of you has, have already have a place in mind and you're about to move. For others of you, you're still looking. Spirit is saying, for those that have already had a place in mind or had already purchased a place, um, Spirit is saying, don't move until two months later. Others of you, if you're still planning, continue to do more research before you actually start moving towards whatever that you're planning on, either moving to a new place, moving to a new job, moving to moving in with someone I'm hearing, or moving back home I'm hearing. Spirit is saying you got to wait for, again, two weeks, two months, depending on your situation I'm hearing, okay? Okay, um, some of you here are, a lot of you, okay, so I'm hearing that not all, but a lot of you here are realizing or more, there were a lot of illusions or and uncertainties or I'm even hearing insecurities in your life and you're finally you're finally understanding or you're finally have the light has finally I'm hearing the light's finally here it's what I'm hearing that you're finally seeing the answers or you or, or things are more clear now and you're more present I'm hearing and you you have the answers now to move forward 
because things were very unclear. And now you're finally seeing that things are slowly. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing that things were very foggy. You were in somewhat a dark, I'm hearing. And now things are slowly. It's. Yeah, things are slowly coming out and you're seeing the light, I'm hearing. And even some of you are seeing things very clearly now and you know what the next steps are, I'm hearing. And this is for some, not for all. And others of you are slowly coming out of the darkness and you're seeing the light slowly. So again, wherever you are, whatever stages that you're at, the general message here, or the main theme of the message here is hold your vision. Make sure you do your research before you move forward. And the time frame is from anywhere from two weeks to two months, but definitely not at this time. Okay, so those are your messages from spirit or the urgent messages from spirit i hope you enjoy your reading and if you feel like doing so please um, subscribe and um, click on the light and share uh, buttons and as well as the bell so whenever i post you get you'll get notified wherever you are uh, thank you very much for letting me do your reading today and please to take good care of yourself and um Please put in the comments um, as to the, the, the messages that have resonated with you and let me know if you like this type of reading. And uh, if so, I'll try to do more of this type of reading for you. Okay, so take good care of yourself. I will see you at my next reading. Bye-bye. Hello, group number two. Welcome to your reading. Who chose this envelope here? So as I mentioned in, in the intro that I meditated uh, and channeled some messages and there is a message that I have put in here before this reading and this message will be the main theme of your reading. Okay, so let's see what this says. Okay, so it's the word leaf. Okay, so... When I meditated and this message came to me, um, first thing first, um, I'm hearing that whatever situation that you're currently in or whatever you have in mind in terms of next steps, whether you should leave or whether you should stay, the answer is you should leave. Okay, so that's one situation. Again, this is a general reading, right? So, and for others of you, I'm hearing that you are planning on something, you are planning on a trip, and you are planning on whether you should go or not, I'm hearing. Um, the answer is yes, you should go. And this is supposed to be good for you. I don't know what the, the trip is about. It could be a vacation that you're thinking of, or it could be a business trip and you're not sure given the current situation. Again, this is a timeless reading, um, but um, I'm recording this during COVID. So Maybe some of you are fearing the, 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 you know, the current situation. And if you're watching this after COVID, it could be, you know, you're not sure if you should leave um, for your trip. Maybe there's other um, important um, things that you need to deal with and you're not sure if you should go. Um, the answer is you should go. And for others of you, um... I'm hearing that you are in a relationship that you're not sure if you've been in. I'm hearing that you are in a lot of arguments 
there's been a lot of conflicts. This could be a love relationship. This could be a business relationship. This could be any type of relationship. It could be even like an employment situation that you're, you're, you know, at work, you're not getting along well with people or, or it's just not a good place for you. Um, and you feel like, you know, it's time for you to leave, but you're not sure if you're going to be able to find another job. Uh, Spirit is saying that you should leave. Uh, but of course, before you leave, make sure you find yourself another job first before you do that, okay? Um, you know, just because Spirit is saying you should leave doesn't mean that you should sleep without another finding another job before you do that, okay? And for others of you, I'm seeing, or maybe for most of you, that um, for this word leave, there are three letters that Spirit wants me to bring to your attention. The letter L, the letter E, and the letter V. So it, this could be your initials, this could be your significant other's initials, or this could be people that you're dealing with and these are their initials. And if not, um, pay attention to the letter L, E, and V, okay, in the near future. This may mean something important to you, so pay attention to these letters. And also, um, the the way I wrote the L, for some reason, Spirit wants me to write like the number two. So number two could mean something to you. It could be, you know, you were born um, in February, February, or it could be um, you are a life path number two, or it could be, you know, oh, you know what? And this is pile number two. How interesting. Okay, yes, okay. So yes, number two definitely means something important to you. And so pay attention to number two or any time when you need to make a decision. And if number two is one of the choices, pick number two. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm going to see what other messages Spirit has for you. But the main theme today is you should leave your situation. Okay, but make sure you know that all is well before you make that move. Okay. Okay. But um, at the end of the day, the answer is you should go or you should leave, okay? So um, I'm going to, I have opened up for the first pile and I've used almost all of it for my reading. So that's what I'll be doing for you as well. Okay, just bear with me here. Okay. I don't know. It took me... I, there was a bit of a struggle for me to open this. So I'm not sure if some of you are currently in a situation where you're struggling. You feel like things are not working out. You constantly have to fight for your wants and your needs, I'm hearing. So let's see what other messages we have for you. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm seeing that a lot of you are coming out of your shell, I'm hearing, uh, taking off your masks, uh, being authentic, or at least you're trying to be authentic. Um, a lot of you, I'd say 50% of you are, have not been feeling yourself, either because you didn't, you didn't feel safe to do so, or because you are fearing to be yourself, fearing of rejection, fearing of not getting accepted or received um, positively by others. I'm hearing that you are needing to, I'm hearing self-love. I'm hearing that a lot. However, there's also a big percentage. I'm hearing at least 25% of you are slowly coming out of your shell you slowly realizing that you know you need to be true to yourself you owe that to yourself which is good news 
and maybe that's the reason why you wanted to leave whatever situation wow okay uh, that you're currently in because you feel that whatever situation that you're currently in no longer serves you i'm hearing and so you really want to go okay so spirit is saying that the timing is now so if you decided to do something to leave a situation to pursue a career to change home i'm also hearing um to um change to a different course or major for your, who, for those that are in school i'm hearing um you, you should do that i'm hearing that a lot of you are have been compromising a lot and you're you're just tired you're you're exhausted you don't want to be doing that anymore and you just you you really want to leave you really want to go and maybe that's why your spirit has drawn you to this this reading um the urgent message is yes you should go and and this is a confirmation for those of you that really wanted to leave okay and i'm seeing there's a large percentage of you are are still feeling stuck and still having the fear of you know, not knowing whether you should leave or whether you should stay. Okay, and 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 some of you are still stuck in the past here. And I'm hearing that um, for those that are still not knowing, um, you are coming from a place of fear. And spirit is saying that you should get out of the situation and leave the situation. I'm hearing. Okay that's the, the urgent message for you some of you there okay okay so i'm hearing that some of you are going i'm hearing that some of you are planning on going back to the projects i'm hearing or The plans or the proposals that you had created, I'm hearing, in the past or something that you've planned in the past but you've never actually tried it or you were fearing of the outcome, the, the unknown. You're not sure if, it, if it's going to work out for you and I'm hearing that you should go ahead with the plan or yes so if you were coming out of if you were fearing in the past not knowing if things were going to work out for you for this new project or this new plan or this situation that you're planning on embarking towards spirit is saying that you should leave your fear you should release your fear and you should go forward or towards this plan that you you had you i'm even hearing that some of you worked really hard and somehow it didn't work out and you didn't pursue it and now you're thinking of going back to that plan and see and you're not sure if it's a good time for you to do it and the answer is yes you should do it now okay okay so for others of you okay so I'm hearing that some of you are planning as well, planning for the future. Okay, and I'm hearing even money. Some of you are encountering money situation, money matters, you're not. Okay, so some of you are thinking about moving homes, I'm hearing. And, and you're not sure and money is tight right now although you really want to leave your current situation but you're not sure and, and funds are tight and you're trying you have been trying to budget you have been trying to plan to move is what I'm hearing but the only thing that I'm hearing that is preventing you from leaving is because of a financial situation is what i'm hearing spirit is saying not to worry you're going to find a place where you're able to afford is what i'm hearing 
but definitely once you're able to find that place, you should leave, is what I'm hearing. Because I'm, he I'm, I'm hearing that some of you are still hesitating while you're planning, even though you're planning to leave, but you some of you are still hesitating. I'm hearing this is because it's out of fear, is what I'm hearing. So Spirit is saying that you should get out of your fear and leave the situation, is what I'm hearing. Okay, yes, definitely. A lot of you are wanting to move forward to the future here. And you've got a lot, a lot in mind. And you're not sure if you're actually doing the right thing. Although deep down, you know it's the right thing. Others of you, again, it's the money situation that's preventing you from moving to uh, forward, to, from moving towards your, your plan for the future is what I'm hearing. So Spirit is saying that maybe scale back on your plan is what I'm hearing. Try to try to I'm hearing accommodate. I'm hearing I'm hearing maybe try to start small and slowly build yourself up is what I'm hearing. Some of you've got big plans here and you want to start big. Spirit is saying scale back and start, take baby steps is what I'm hearing. One step at a time. Okay, so it's, what I'm hearing is learn how to walk before you run is what I'm hearing. Okay, metaphorically speaking. So start off small and then slowly build yourself up is what I'm hearing. Okay, so there's a very small amount or percentage of you here are planning on moving back home is what I'm hearing. Um, some of you are trying to find support is what I'm hearing. And Spirit is saying that as long as the support is there, moving back home is not a bad idea. And it's actually set for some of you, this is just for some of you, it's actually good for you. Okay. Okay, so I'm hearing that for others of you, you are going in circles here. You know, Spirit is saying you need to clear your mind. You need to maybe draw out brainstorming is what I'm hearing. So you need to brainstorm. You need to do a pro and pros and cons chart is what I'm hearing. So you have to be strategic in order for you to not go into circles or go in circles is what I'm hearing. Okay, it's but it's definitely time for you to leave if that's something that you plan on doing. But you need to have, you need to be very strategic. And this is just for some that are resonating with this message that you feel like you're going in circles. Okay, so go back to the drawing board and and do the do a pros and cons type of situation or or, or plan and and plan strategically and you will find your answer as to which way to go is what i'm hearing but for sure you need to go okay okay Okay, so I'm hearing that some of you are gamblers here, and you have gambled big, is what I'm hearing. Spirit is saying that you should leave that situation. Some of you here, not all of you, and this is just for some, very specific here, that some of you lost a lot of money through gambling. I'm hearing online gambling. All different types of gambling is what I'm hearing. So Spirit is acknowledging that you lost a lot of money. You almost... Okay, so Spirit is saying the urgent message here is you need to stop or else you're going to end up in a very... Okay, um, okay so... 
cut you. Okay, so you're going to be losing everything, essentially. Your home, your relationship, everything. If you don't stop, that's the urgent message. And this is just for some. You need to stop. Okay, so within two weeks to two months' time, I'm hearing, for some of you, even two weeks, okay? If you don't stop in two weeks, you're going to end up losing everything, okay? And that's the urgent message here for you. And that this is just for some that are gambling. You should know who you are. And I'm not judging. Please know that these are urgent messages from spirit and that you should leave the gambling situation. You should seek help is what I'm hearing, okay? Okay, so... I don't know, for some reason I just heard... Some of you here are pregnant, okay? And I'm even hearing twins. Your babies are doing well. Your ba you, you are going to have beautiful babies is what I'm hearing. What I'm also hearing is, again, I'm channeling and I'm also reading, okay? So I'm also hearing that you are not in a good relationship. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that. And the father of your babies are not in a good space right now. It sounds like he needs time to heal is what I'm hearing. And, and so do you. Okay, so spirit is saying that you need to give each other space is what I'm hearing. So maybe... Okay, so what I'm hearing is you need to seek for help. And you need to give each other space. You need to leave your situation, not to leave your relationship. I'm not, that's not what spirit is saying. Spirit is saying you need to seek help by stepping out of your, I don't I'm even hearing that some of you are feeling shameful of your situation. And some of you are even trying to hide and you're showing everyone around you that you're very happy, but in actuality, you're not. So Spirit is saying you should not you should not hide anymore. You should leave the fear is what I'm hearing. You should try to come out and be honest to yourself. You don't have to share your personal problems, but what I'm hearing is you are fearing to reach out for help because you are afraid that people are going to judge or find out. I'm even hearing that some of you are living in a small town. And you are afraid that once you reach out, everyone's going to know. Spirit is saying that you should leave this fear, release this fear. You should leave that limiting thoughts. What I'm hearing is the people around you are actually very beautiful people and they will not judge. They will help you is what I'm hearing. So you should leave the, the thoughts of thinking that people are going to judge. And that you should seek help is what I'm hearing. And this is just for some, okay? And that's the urgent message for you, that you should seek help. Okay? Okay, so... That was all I had for you. Envelope number two. So, I hope this message or some of the messages here resonate um, with some of you. Okay, so... I hope you enjoyed this reading and I thank you very, very much for letting me do your reading today. Uh, if you feel like doing so, please subscribe and uh, hit the like button as well as put in the comments below and let me know if any of the messages resonated and click on the bell. So every time when I post, I, you know, you'll get notified. So wherever you are, please, please do take good care of yourself and stay safe. Okay, so I will see you at my next reading. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, group number three, or envelope number three. Those that chose this envelope, this is your reading. Welcome to your reading. Okay, so as I sat and meditate before this reading, so uh, some messages came up, and one of the messages 
is in your envelope. So I'm going to pull it up or pull it out to see what is the main theme of your reading or the message that you need to hear right now, urgent messages that spirit wants you to hear right now. So it's negativity. Okay, so when I got this message, what I was hearing was that in your space or in your environment, this could be energetically, this could be physically. So let's talk about physically. So for some of you, I feel that you are surrounded with a lot of negativity. You know, this could be uh, the people that you are with. This could be a situation that you're currently in. Um, for others of you, this could be... Um, I'm even hearing you could be in a relationship. It could be a love situation. It could be a partnership. It could be any type of relationship that is currently... Um, there's a lot of negativity in that relationship or in whatever relationship that you're currently in. And for energetically, um, for negativity, this could be your thinking, right? So this could be... Um, so you're, this could be you overthinking a situation. Um, there could be really nothing, but because you have been overthinking a lot and somehow it created a lot of negativity and you're not in a good space. And this is just for some, okay? So the urgent message from spirit today to you is you need to release any negativity, um, in your situation, whether it's physically or, you know, mentally, energetically, or it could be both or all, you know, so you need to surrender and release all the negativity in your situation. Okay. And the other things that I got was, um, spirit wants me to bring to your attention these letters here, the letter N the letter T, and the letter Y. Okay, so these letters here could be your initials or your significant other's initials or someone of importance initials or someone that you are currently dealing with. Um, this could be someone that is negative in your life, I'm hearing, and the, these could be their initials. So stay away from these people, it's what I'm hearing. Um, or the letter N, T, and Y, these letters here could be of significance for you, maybe not now in the near future, so pay attention to these letters, okay? So N, T, and Y, all right? So what I'll do is I'm going to read from Carbonated Water and see what additional messages Spirit has for you. So I, what I did for the first couple of piles was I used, for the first pile, I almost used all of this, all of the can here. For second pile, I think I used all of it. So I'm going to try to use all of um, the carbonated water here for you as well, okay? So please clear your mind. This is a general reading. So... Use your intuition, pick up messages that um, resonate and leave the rest behind, okay? Okay, so what I'm getting from here is a lot of you are stuck in the past. And I feel that, and I'm also hearing that this past energy this could be energetically so this could be some of you still thinking about your ex thinking about what happened in the past and i'm hearing that you should release this because i'm hearing that the past that you're thinking of and this could be because of the negativity that you encounter in the past and it's still not leaving your, your heart space Spirit is saying that you should release this and you should heal is what I'm hearing. You should try to heal yourself, forgive those that 
did you wrong is what I'm hearing and release the negativity and that way you can heal and move forward. Yes, a lot of you here, I'd say at least 25% to 50% of you, maybe 45% of you here are still holding on to the past. And this could be physically too. So some of you are with someone in a relationship. It could be a love for relationship. It could be a partnership of a business situation. It could be a friendship. You are still stuck in the situation here is what I'm hearing. And Spirit is saying that you should try to release or let go if there are negativity, that is. Okay, so if there's no negativity in your situation, it's okay to stay. But if there is negativity, you should consider leaving is what I'm hearing. Okay, so for others of you, you are planning for your future here. You are planning on those that are in school. You are planning on, I'm hearing doing your master's. I'm hearing doing your doing your doctor, um, doctor's degree is what I'm hearing. Um, okay, so what I'm hearing is that some of you, there's a lot of fear you're not sure if you're going to be able to pursue this, although you do have that, you do have those plans in mind, but you are fearing whether you should pursue it or not. And Spirit is saying that you should release that fear or that negative thinking. And yes, okay, you should release the negative thinking and pursue your dreams is what I'm hearing. You guys have a lot of plans, future plans. And I'm hearing, you know, some of you are even planning on starting a new business, being your own boss. And some of you are going into, you know, the social media and others of you are starting a business. Moving homes is what I'm hearing. A lot of planning, a lot of good planning. Others of you, I'm hearing investments. You are planning on investing. And you're fearing that you're not sure if you're fearing of the risks is what I'm hearing. Okay, and so Spirit is saying that you should release your fear. However, you should also do your research but there is a lot of fear here. So if there's fear in any type of situation, it's not going to help you is what I'm hearing. So what, it doesn't matter what you're planning on doing. If there's negativity or if there's fear, it's not going to help the situation for you. So before you pursue anything, you need to ensure that you are not coming from a place of fear or a place with that is filled with all negativity before you pursue it okay so make sure you are staying positive and you believe in the i mean even hearing the impossible okay so but this doesn't mean that you should bet all your money in in, in a stock uh, in the stock market this what what spirit is trying to say is whatever you're trying to pursue make sure you're coming from a place of positivity you're coming from a place where you have clear intentions and that yes and that you are prepared to you know face whatever risks that would come your way and that your energies it's what i'm hearing your, your energy needs to be in a receiving type of a vibration is what i'm hearing so you need to vibrate in a level of positivity is what i'm hearing essentially okay Okay, so, okay, so there's a, okay, 
some of you here are feeling very stuck is what I'm hearing. You feel like you're in a bubble, like you want to burst out of the bubble is what I'm hearing. This is metaphorically speaking, of course. Um, and you're afraid that if you come out of, it could be, it could be because you were in a hermit mode is what I'm hearing. And because you are afraid of coming out of your bubble, you are afraid, you, you're feeling very safe right now where you are. And you are afraid once you come out, things are going to go wrong is what I'm hearing. So spirit is saying the urgent message here is you need to come out of that bubble, especially if you're hiding because of fear, because of the negative thoughts that you have manifested is what I'm hearing. So you need to clear that thinking, that limiting thinking is what I'm hearing. So Spirit is saying that you have been manifesting a lot of negativity. And it's actually very, I, earlier I saw a really big bubble. And that's where you're currently at. And this is just for some of you. Okay, so you need to get out of that negativity or negative thinking. Okay. Okay, so again, I see it more bubbles. Okay, so you definitely need to. I'm hearing that you want something great, but you nothing's been happening for you some of i'm hearing that some of you have been manifesting but because things have not happened for you you have your thoughts have now you have given up essentially you have given up and your thoughts are now you're in a very negative space right now i'm so sorry to hear that i'm so sorry to deliver that message to you but spirit is saying that you need to reevaluate your situation. Okay, so you need to reevaluate your situation. You need to come out of the negativity mindset of yours. And you have to start again, is what I'm hearing. Yes. Okay, so spirit is the, the urgent message here for some of you is that you need to clear your mind start again you okay i'm even hearing a reset button you need to reset yourself whatever situation that you're currently in there needs to be a reset maybe you've been depleting your energy you've been you've been you've been doing too much you've been thinking too much and i'm even hearing Okay, you need to get out of that situation is what I'm hearing. Okay, wow, did you just see that big bubble there? Okay, so yes, the urgent message for a lot of you here, I, I would say you need to get out of that negative thinking. And some of you here actually have really good plans. And it's going to manifest, and it will manifest is what I'm hearing. But at first, you need to get out of that negativity is what I'm hearing. I feel like I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry, spirit keeps on putting that in my head. Okay. Okay, so I'm hearing that some of you have been manifesting for a person and that person is actually that or that person's actually coming energetically their soul is actually have already been in touch with your soul is what i'm hearing so energetically your souls have met is what i'm hearing yes okay so for some, and this is just for some, uh, some of you are feeling very small right now. Again, I'm very sorry that I have to say this. Uh, again, I'm channeling and I'm, I'm reading from the bubbles here. Spirit is saying that you are beautiful and 
never, never, ever let anyone tell you that about yourself. And, and Spirit is also saying, please don't think of yourself that way. You need a lot of positive affirmation is what I'm hearing. So please do a lot of positive affirmation, okay? That's, the, that's again, the one of the urgent messages Spirit has for you. Okay, so do you see this big bubble again? Okay, so I really don't want to repeat myself again, but Spirit is Spirit keeps showing me the same thing over and over. Okay, you really need to get out of your negativity. Once you clear that away from your, your heart space, your head, your energy, all will be well is what I'm hearing. Whatever you're going to manifest, I know for some of you, um, things didn't turn out the way you planned and um you things that you have manifested you waited for so long and it didn't happen and you're you've already given up hope and this is just for some spirit is saying please do not give up hope energetically it's actually here already um, this is just for some that are have been manifesting for a person. Your souls have actually already met. So um, you need to clear your, your heart space. You need to clear your mind. You need to um, reset. And you need to think of the positive and things will work out for you is what I'm hearing. Okay, so the urgent message from uh, Spirit today is clear your mind, clear your space energetically, physically and things will work out okay all right so thank you very very much for for letting me do your reading today i hope you enjoyed it please let me know in comments if you you know would like me to do you know this type of reading again in the future and let me know what messages that have resonated and uh, if you feel like doing so uh, please click on um, the subscribe button as this will definitely help me with my channel, help support my channel, and uh, click the like button as well as share if you feel like doing so, um, and uh, as well as the bell, uh, as whenever I post, you'll get notified. Wherever you are, please take good care of yourself and stay safe, okay? Take good care of yourself, okay? I'll see you at my next reading. Bye-bye. Hello, envelope number four, who picked this envelope. Welcome to your reading. Okay, so in the introduction, I had said that I meditated and messages came to me. And one of the messages uh, is in your envelope. So I'm going to open it up and see what is the main theme of or the main urgent message that spirit wants you to know right now okay so it's self-love all right so when i wrote this message um spirit is telling me that a lot of you here have been overlooking yourself meaning you have been overgiving you have been caring too much about others and you have depleted your cups you you are lovely souls for sure you're beautiful souls you are very giving um, to the point where you are lacking self-love you always put others before you um you know you would always be the last person to eat whenever you you would always you would be the person cooking and you would be you would always be the you know the person serving after you cook and you would always be the last person sitting down to enjoy your meal with the rest of your family so that's how beautiful you are and spirit is saying you need to care about yourself though okay you have to you have been depleting um, your own cups is what I'm hearing. And you need to you need to basically redirect your energy and start caring for yourself. Okay. All right. So 
the other thing that I got was um, these letters here. So the letter S, the letter F, the letter L, and the letter E. So these could be your initials. Okay, again, this is a general reading, right? So these could be your initials or your significant other's initials or someone important of importance initials or if none of those apply um, these letters could mean or may mean something important to you in the near future so pay attention to these letters is what spirit wanting you to know um, and this is actually the smallest envelope um, of out of the um, the three previous envelopes so I when I cut um, each of the messages, they were actually the same size except for yours because I couldn't fit um, the, you know, the size that I divided the, them up for the other three envelopes. Um, if, I, if I was to use the, the exact same size, I was not able to fit this um, in this envelope. So I, I ended up having to cut to the size that would fit this envelope. So as I was doing that, um, I got the message that this is how thin you guys have been stretching yourself is what I'm hearing. You need to cut a lot of your needs and basically you, you have to stretch yourself so thin you have to give so much that you only left very little for yourself is what I'm hearing. You know, so you always leave the smallest piece of the pie for you is what I'm hearing. So the urgent message from spirit here is you need to stop doing that and you need to care for yourself. Okay. All right. You are beautiful souls here for sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read from carbonated water to see what other messages spirit has for you. So I use most of the water for the first three piles so i'm going to do the same for you here okay all right so please clear your mind and i will be reading the bubbles and whatever i'm able to channel i'll let you know as well okay okay so wow okay Okay, so you, some of you here are, again, very, very, very giving. You spread your energies to every other directions there are uh, that you're able to reach, is what I'm hearing. Um, and you're spreading yourself definitely very, very thin. And Spirit is saying that you need to pay attention to that, okay? Yeah, okay. So and a lot of you are just just a lot of you are doing a lot of charity work and you're just out there out and about to see, you know, where wherever you're able to help, you would help is what I'm hearing. And you're just you're the type of person that are like magnets, you know, whenever you hear or you, you just know who needs help is what I'm hearing. And you're just going to run so fast to that direction to help whoever that needs help. You're so sensitive. And some of you hear me even hearing that you're empaths. Okay. You're so sensitive to energy, especially energies that needing help is what I'm hearing. So, some of you here could be counselors, healers, teachers is also what I'm hearing. You're such beautiful souls. And, and I'm also hearing that a lot of people are attracted to your energy. You have beautiful energy. Everybody wants a piece of you is what I'm hearing. You know, of course, you know, the good things, okay? In a good way is, is what I'm trying to say. 
but you need to watch your energy. You need to make sure that you're not depleting your energy is what I'm hearing. Okay, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm getting the word magnet, magnet. Like you, you attract like so much attention from those that are needing help and vice versa is what I'm hearing. And those that are need help, they just gravitate towards you. And I'm, I'm, what I'm hearing is you have to watch out for energy vampires is what I'm hearing. You need to make sure that you attend to yourself first, okay? Again, going back to this main urgent message that Spirit has for you, you need a lot of self-love. You need to make sure that you're not overgiving is what I'm hearing, okay? Wow, do you see this beautiful bubble here and it's attracting other bubbles? Look, okay, okay. So some of you are going back going back to i'm hearing going back to where you were or i'm hearing unbusiness unfinished business maybe you're going back to your old job maybe you're going back to your ex maybe you're going back to someone that you used to help that is needing your help this time I'm hearing maybe you are okay um okay so I'm hearing that some of you are moving back home I'm hearing that some of you here, not all of you, some of you here actually immigrated to a foreign country and you're thinking of moving back home because home is where is needing your help right now and you're thinking of going back there and you and you are actually giving up a lot of what you have already established is what I'm hearing from where you are currently at. But you're thinking of moving back home because there's help there that is needing you to go back to. And Spirit is saying that while that is good for you to go back where Go back to your hometown because that's where the help is needing you. But make sure when you do that, make sure that you are also looking after yourself. Okay. What I'm hearing from Spirit is that this should only be temporarily. You should not, you should not put others before you, although they do need your help right now. This should be a temporarily or a temporary temporary situation is what I'm hearing. So you should not stay there. You have already made your mind or made a decision to to get yourself out of the situation is what I'm hearing. Okay, so yes, you should go back and help, but it should not be something that is permanent is what I'm hearing, okay? And this is just for some. Okay, see, there's a lot of energies wanting to go back to the past. Um, maybe some of you are planning on going back to school is what I'm hearing. And you also want to do both school and work at the same time is what I'm hearing. So Spirit is saying it's good that you're you're doing that, but make sure you're not doing too much. There needs to be some balance and there needs to be self-care again. 
whatever that you're trying to do i'm hearing that you're you're about you're trying to juggle between the two things here and spirit is urgent message is to let you know that make sure you're balancing yourself energetically physically mentally emotionally and the most important thing is you need to attend to yourself first is what i'm hearing okay okay so spirit is saying that because your energy is so beautiful wherever you go you are going you're bound to attract good and not so good energies okay so you need to be mindful of that you need to you need to cleanse your energies what i'm hearing every day you know just so you don't drained yourself is what i'm hearing so make sure when you get home you cleanse your energy okay by doing so it's 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 also a way of attending to self-love right so or self-care is also what i'm hearing so make sure you cleanse your energy make sure you protect your energy from energy vampires is what i'm hearing make sure you're not overdoing things for others and you're overlooking your own self and make sure that you love yourself as much as you love others is what i'm hearing okay you see all these bubbles going into the middle like it it's like all these magnet um yeah spirit is sending me the same message again yeah you need to make sure you protect your energy protect your surrounding is also what i'm hearing you have really beautiful energy here so make sure you protect your energy okay okay so i'm hearing that there are three people in your life that are of significance three to five people um so pay attention to these people i'm hearing that two out of five or two out of three are not too good so make sure you don't let these people take advantage of you is what i'm hearing and this is just for some okay so make sure you don't let people take advantage of you and i feel that some of you already know this and you're letting it go because some of them are your family members is what i'm hearing so make sure you are communicating your own needs clearly to these people it's what i'm hearing yes make sure you yes make sure you clearly communicate what you are willing to do for them and what you're not willing to do for them so the message here is you need to be very clear with the way you draw your line is what i'm hearing with these people because literally they need you to spell things out for them is what i'm hearing okay so okay okay see i just spilled some water maybe you guys been spilling your spilling your your love and and your energies to all the people around you and you know you're you're basically depleting yourself okay so the main message here or the urgent message here from spirit is make sure you're not over giving and you're caring for yourself first before you care for others and you love yourself as much as you are willing to love others and you are beautiful souls here okay and make sure that you're not you know cutting a bigger piece of the pie for everyone and leaving the smallest piece for yourself okay so you have to stop doing that and you have to start you know getting equal shares is what i'm getting 
Okay, so beautiful souls. Thank you very much for letting me do your reading today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope some of the message, uh, some of the messages here resonated. Um, if um, they did resonate, uh, please uh, put in the comments below and let me know. And um, if you feel like doing so, please subscribe as this definitely would help me uh, with my channel as well. Um, like and share and uh, hit on the bell just so every time when I uh, post, you get notified. Okay, so wherever you are, please stay safe and take good care of yourself. I love you all very much. Okay, I'll see you at my next reading. Take care. Bye-bye.